Today we will discuss the drug fentanyl, its potency, and things that we could do to try to help prevent this epidemic from continuing to rise. My name is Travis. Welcome to my channel. Let's get started. Fentanyl is 50 times more powerful than heroin and 100 times more powerful than morphine. It was developed in 1960 to treat patients with severe pain. This pain usually was bad enough that the normal painkillers they were taking could not do the job. It was thought of that this would be something that doctors could safely use during their surgeries. This drug is carefully prescribed by doctors in certain medical situations. But in 2013, unfortunately, fentanyl hit the streets. Drug dealers started off mixing small portions with heroin. Traffickers found the product easy to move. Most of it was shipped from Chinese labs. It was also per purchased from traffickers in Mexico. It would be undetected through the mail of postal services and customs, but postal services and customs could only inspect a small amount of what was actually coming in. They estimated 1 million packages coming in on a daily basis. Overdoses began to increase in 2013. 3,000 people died, but in 2017, fentanyl killed over 30,000 people in America. In 2016, the CDC said fentanyl was leaked to the most overdoses of any drug, surpassing heroin. By 2020, fentanyl had killed more than 67,000 people. That's more than the American personnel that was killed in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Vietnam. Since only a few grains can cause an overdose, pure fentanyl is very lethal, causing instant death in most cases. It kills more people than gun violence. When someone overdoses on fentanyl, at the most you have three minutes to get there and try to render assistance. And even in some of those cases, it's already too late. And unfortunately, addicts had started doing fentanyl alone by themselves. And by the time that they were located, they were dead. During COVID from May of 2020 to April of 2021, fentanyl killed 100,000 people. In that year alone, fentanyl killed more people than car accidents and gun violence combined. The number one killer for Americans between the ages of 18 and 45 is not car crashes, heart disease, or murder. It is fentanyl. And that's according to the CDC. In response to this growing epidemic, county supervisors are discussing whether or not to declare the illicit drug fentanyl a public health crisis. This would make it easier to prevent fentanyl misuse and reduce its availability across certain municipal counties. This public health crisis does not seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. People really need to be informed of how deadly fentanyl is and how easy it is to access it. Fentanyl can even be purchased online, unfortunately. Families that have lost loved ones to overdoses have come together and try to help 
during this time. They are letting their tragedies be helped to other people by sharing what happened to them. Parents, please discuss this drug with your children and educate them on its lethalness and deadliness. We must come together to stop this deadly fentanyl epidemic in America. You like anything I said, hit the like button, leave a comment, I'm open to all comments, and let's put come together to try to prevent this fentanyl from destroying America.